Hey everyone, uh, welcome to another video. I thought I'd do an update here from the bunker in Las Vegas. Um, let you all know what's going on. Who the f*** are you? No, I'm just playing with you guys. This is my friend Larry. Howdy, howdy. Say hi, Larry. How's it going? It's, ooh, it's all right. Right? Um, so yeah, so this is this is my podcast studio. We and Larry and I built it out. Uh, we've been building it out for a couple months now to uh, launch some new podcasts and do some other things. Um, that I wasn't ready to, to, to reveal yet, but as you all know, we've got a pandemic going on. Um, so I, I thought I'd do a real quick update on what's going on in Vegas and then what's gonna go on with the channel while this is all happening. So um, this is the podcast studio we built. Um, I'm very proud of it, very happy with it. Um, we built this out to launch some podcasts and do them, and I was having all those issues with YouTube, as you guys remember, and just as they all cleared up, here we go again. All the casinos in Vegas are shut down. Now, there's not one casino open. There's not one gambling machine at a gas station open. Like, everything's shut down. Yeah, the governor shut down everything non-essential for 30 days. Yeah, everything. I mean, here's the thing, though. Like, everything else is kind of still open. So you can still walk into Starbucks. You can still go get food. So, like, all the essential stuff is open. Yeah. But casinos are shut down. Um what else is shut down? Oh, well, there's no concerts. There's no shows. Yeah, venues, events, uh, anything, gatherings, social gatherings. And then the restaurants that are open, it's takeout, pickup, delivery. Yeah, there's no sit down. There's like no Starbucks sit -down. don't have chairs. I don't know what it's like in, in your cities, uh, but there's no chairs or tables at our Starbucks. Uh, you can't sit down and eat anymore. You have to get to go or, or thing. Uh, we've been doing hiking and things like that uh, just to stay away from the public. We didn't even do game night. Uh, cause it's a larger group of friends and we're, we're trying to this whole social distancing thing. Um, anyway, so, so yeah, this is the studio. I'm very proud of it. Um, I wanted to give you an update. So a cool thing that, that happened while all that YouTube stuff was going on, I actually found a hard drive of, of, of videos that I hadn't put up. So this is, there's content that you've never seen. Uh, I was going to start doing a throwback Thursday, so I'm going to definitely do that. So you'll still get gambling content every week. Give me. Give me a week to to go through it, um, to go through the hard drive and see what's there. Um, I'll be, I obviously won't be able to record for at least uh, a month until all this, until we figure out how society is going to continue to function. Um, <laughs> uh, but until then, there there will still be gambling content. I have that. We've recorded. I've recorded a couple pilots of of uh, podcasts. One with Larry and one with guests that I'm doing. Um, I wasn't going to put those up just yet. I was still debating on if I was going to start a different channel, uh, when I was going to put them up, how many I'd have a backlog of before I put them up. So it was still kind of all in the works, but, uh, as the universe kind of works, uh, it worth, it's, we're being thrust forward. Uh, so we're just going to put them up. I'll put them up starting, uh, next week or in a few days or wherever, uh, whenever, uh, I'll put them up. You guys can please provide feedback. That would be awesome. Um, another thing I'm going to be doing is if you remember when I started having those YouTube issues in December, uh, the, one of the very first videos that got taken down was this really awesome donation video that I had done with Gambino slots and we'd gone to a rescue and, and, and we had set up this thing where all you guys had to do was download the app to play it and like they would donate an extra dollar to the rescue. Um, so all that's going to happen again. Uh, it'll, I'll put up that video probably next week. And then I had a whole bunch of Christmas videos to follow. So we're going to do like, uh, Christmas during Corona or something like Christmas that. Christmas during Corona. Uh, I like that. I don't know what we'll call it. That, <clears throat> that, that just came to me, but I don't know if some people will find that offensive. I'll figure it out. Um, but yeah, so we'll definitely do that and you'll be able to participate. It won't cost you anything. You'll just download the app if you want to play and we'll give an extra dollar to the rescue. I did this whole video. I hope you guys like it. Um, I'll put that up. I'll put up all the Christmas videos. I'll put up the two podcasts and then we'll go from there. I'll get your feedback on all of that. And yeah, so I want you guys to comment below what's life like in your city. Uh... What kind of content do you want to see since I can't go to the casino for the meanwhile? Like, I've got this studio built. I can bring guests in as long as they don't have any coughs or, or, or sneezes going no sniffles, on. No sniffles, no coughs. Yeah, yeah no, you know, if you're coughing or sneezing, sorry, buddy. We can't be friends right now. Um, I've got my mom to worry about. And, and you have your parents have and your grandma. yeah. And so we, we both are in close contact with high-risk uh, category people. So we're both being very, very cautious of who we come in contact with right now. Um, it's a scary time. What's life like for you out there? Uh, yeah. How has your life changed, Larry, with all this? 
Um, honestly, not too much. Uh, I don't do the gambling thing, but uh, I know I'm part of a lot of meetup groups and uh, doing online dating and stuff, and uh, or trying to at least. And uh, now that is uh, all the apps are telling you to do virtual dating, and it's like, well, I thought the whole point of this was not to do virtual dating, it was right, to meet right. in real life. So all that stuff's just been put on hold. All the meetups have been put up on put on hold. Um, but for the most part, I'm just gonna keep doing what I was doing before and just be a be that introverted uh, little little bunker rat that I am. Yeah, it's <laughs> so funny. It works right? out for me. I'm a gamer, so it's funny. I was just gonna say that. Like it, our lives don't really change much. We're kind of introverted gamers to begin with. Hey, the only the only people I when I do go out, it's usually hiking with somebody, and it's like one or two people, and we're not like hugging each other, and we're outdoors away from people. Yeah, we did that yesterday. You and I literally went hiking yesterday, and and. That to me feels like a totally safe activity. Yeah, like completely safe. Like we're not we're not in in direct contact. We're not around a bunch of people. Like we're not doing a meetup version, so it's not like we're around. With, yeah, it's like it's basically me and like a friend. Yeah, and so that works. And it's and you know you're getting your exercise in. You're getting out of the house because I think that's going to be really important moving forward. I think the yeah, the biggest thing for me that's been affected is uh, the, the the stores, the people who decided they needed like i wanted to get some cream cheese yesterday and i couldn't get any cream cheese i was like when did this become an essential were they sold out of they cream were cheese? sold out of cream cheese only cream cheese left were like the the weird stuff like there's like a like a like an onion garlic mix one to the side or something so i just wanted regular plain cream cheese yeah, yeah. that i can use for my recipes and stuff and i was it was gone, completely gone. Uh, I got lucky, got some string cheese. I'm not even big on cheese, but I was like, I, I was completely out of cheese, and that's how I shop. I shop for what I need, and everything was gone. There was no meat. There was nothing. I really, I really went in there for for Powerade, and that's one of our things we both drink the the Powerade Zeros, and that's what I went in there to get. And there was just everything was gone. So that was weird. Mm. Uh, the store. Uh, Going to the store like that, and then I'm when I am going to the store because I have my grandmother who's, you know, she's in her 80s, and so, you know, I had to wear I wore gloves. I felt weird wearing gloves. Like I was like, oh, well, you wore gloves to wore the store? Glo- yeah, I wore gloves, and I had the, the the hand sanitizer and the wipes and everything, and can't get a mask for my life. So yeah, you can't find a mask anywhere. I haven't been able to find we a mask tried, for weeks we, now. Yeah, we even tried before it blew up to look for masks and they were already weeks gone. Weeks ago, you and I were at Walmart doing shopping for this studio, yeah, actually. Yeah, we were like, hey, while we're here, let's see if we can get some masks because this whole thing's kind of starting to happen and there was nothing. And again, we're not, we weren't trying to hoard. Like one no. box I've been fine with, but yeah. ridiculous. It's crazy. So that's the that's the biggest effect on me. And then, of course, just going to be that overall overarching effect of when it, when the economy is going to start slipping here soon, just because yeah. you know, a lot of people aren't working or a lot of people, a lot of big venues were shut down. I had a, I had a, an event I was getting ready to get ready, ready to go to here in Vegas called pirate fest. Yar. Yeah. Yar. Just like a bunch of nerds getting together and doing stuff, but that ain't happening now. So the, all the vendors and stuff and technically the group of people I was with, we were vendors. We were going to sell stuff and now we're not selling anything. Right. Right. Like life's going to change pretty dramatically, but I think it's going to be for the better. I think this is kind of like the universe going, "Hey, dummies! Yeah, like wake up. You but need each other." There's all these, these, all these uh, TED talks and like uh, past uh, interviews and discussions. I've been people have been posting and I've been watching about when we had the Ebola scare or the SARS scare, and people saying we don't have the infrastructure in place to for a real thing, and this is it. This is the real thing that happened. Luckily. It's not as horrible as it could be, but it's still bad and it's going to get worse. We don't even know. Like, we don't, yeah, we don't really know. I mean, Italy just passed China in deaths. I know yeah. that happened this morning. Uh, uh, but so it's just this kind of crazy weird thing, but it's kind of like a wake up call. Like, I mean, it could be worse. It's like when I say it being worse, it's like it's not killing healthy people. If this was something that was killing healthy people too, then it'd be like, oh man, I wish we had the infrastructure in place. Yeah. Now we can try to get it in place. One thing I was talking about, I don't want to go political, we don't want to, but they're talking about doing $1,000 a month for people who are taxpayers to get through this time. That's something that's come up in debates recently about universal basic income, goes back to the 70s, and now it's a real issue. Like, oh, certain people who've been talking about this may have been right because this is the exact thing they were warning us about. Right. So it's funny to see, I want to see how things are going to change. Like people who work jobs where they have to go into the office all the time and now they're working from home and maybe they won't have to go into the office. Maybe their employers realize, oh, as long as they're productive and they're at home, it will work. Yeah. You know, so I think there's gonna be a lot of good that can come out of this. Yeah, I agree. I think I think uh, a lot's gonna change. And I think, it, like I was saying, it's the universe's way of going, hey guys, 
you sure you don't need universal health care and, and basic income and, and things yeah. like that? Like, like maybe, maybe so people can be taken care of in an emergency yeah, without like, having to drastically change. Maybe it's time we put our politics aside and just worry about taking care of each other. Like just to make sure our children are fed and our parents aren't sick. Like that should be, that shouldn't be a political issue anymore. Yeah, well, and I think this is the way the universe is telling us to move beyond our politics and just start taking care of each other. Before this all went down, Vegas got some attention because there was the, uh, they were changing laws with the, had to do with homeless mm. and it kind of broke nationwide and our mayor was on TV a lot nationwide and people were, some people were upset about it. And now she's talking about, we need to take care of the homeless. Right. Like, so instead of like get them off our property, it's now we got to take care of them because they're going to be at risk because they don't have a place they can hunker down in and stay in and be away from other people. So it's just interesting that like there's, it's almost not, it's not, not, it's tragic. Luckily, at least not yet. Um, as like a nine 11 or something, but it is a way of bringing us together, but at a social distance, <laughs> it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting how society is going to change because of this. And, and, uh, one thing that I'm, I'm, I'm sure of is, is that we will get past this and we will adapt and survive like we always do. Like I, I've, I lived through the LA riots, the Northridge earthquake, 9-11, like, like I've seen a lot of things come and go in my 40 short years on this life in this little world. And, uh, we always seem to make it past it. And, and whether you think this is a real pandemic or you think it's exaggerated, whatever you feel like it's going to play out how it's going to play out, we will adapt, we will survive. And I think we're come. And I, and I honestly think we're going to come out of this because we've been really at odds politically for a few years now, right? Just hating each other. And I think this is a wake up call that, all right, settle down, settle down. Yeah. Like we're like, all still, we're, we're all, all humans. we're all in this together. We're all in this together. We're all like one giant thing together. Yes. Like, like there's, there's, we've, we've been fighting way too much. And so anyway, that we're going way beyond the, the scope of this video update <laughs> video, but yeah, like, so that's what life is like in Vegas right now. Um, casinos are closed. Only essential stuff is open. Uh, it's going to be that way for the foreseeable future. Um, so like I said, I'm going to put up uh, a couple of the podcasts I did. I'd love your feedback on what you think of them and what you'd like to see moving forward. One is the No Breakfast Club, club that I'm doing with Larry. Uh, it's our fitness and nutrition one. Uh, Larry, uh, uh, spoiler alert, I, I, won't, I won't spoil too much of the first episode of the No Breakfast Club, but we'll put a picture up right over Larry's face right now. Um, when I met Larry, this is what he looked like. And I had just lost the weight. Uh, so that is why we're doing a podcast again. I'm not going to spoil the rest of it. Watch the first episode of the No Breakfast Club, which I will put up uh, probably Monday or Tuesday and next week. Um, along with all the other videos we talked about, I'll, I'll figure out a schedule and put it up for you guys in order. So you'll have content moving forward. Uh, the other podcast I'm doing is called the uh, Make Me Smarter. It's kind of my attempt at being Joe Rogan. Uh, it's, it, I, you know, I, I hang out with people who are smarter than myself. Uh, I've started with a few friends and recorded a few pilot episodes to kind of get my feet wet. Um, yeah, like I said, I sit down with somebody smarter than, than myself and, and talk about a subject that they're an expert in that, that I'm curious about. Uh, the first pilot you, you'll see is with my buddy Matt, who's a, who's a professional poker player who makes his living playing poker. Not right uh, now. Uh, not, <laughs> not at right this now. second, but uh, yeah. up until uh, a week ago, he had. And so that's the first episode of that. You'll see. I'd love your feedback on that. And like I said, I'll put up the donation video I did. That was a really fun video. I had so much fun. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy it and you'll be able to contribute and help the piggies. I know we all have a bunch of other stuff to worry about right now, but the world doesn't stop turning just because we have our problems as well. So. Yeah, I love you all. I hope you're all well. Comment below what your life has turned into right now, uh, what you think about everything that's going on. Keep politics out of it, please. I, I love you all. Uh, I hope you like my studio. I hope you like our studio. This is the, We'll be recording at least some of the podcasts from here, some of them from out in the field. We've been hiking a lot. I said maybe we'll do stuff out there. Who yeah, knows? some outdoor stuff would be fun. So, yeah, and then we're definitely going to be f showing you uh, what the strip looks like and what the parking lots look like right now. Uh, but like I said, we both have high risk people at home. So we are being very cautious of, of how much risk we put ourselves in. And so that'll be at least a thought moving forward whenever we do stuff like that. 
and that's it. So thank you guys all for joining us for the update. Uh, wait for the videos to come or starting next week. Uh, love you all. Yeah, and I'm hoping to get to get to know you all. All right, thanks guys. See Bye. You.